obviously, a couple 47 yarders, 50 yarder. What does that do for your confidence to get out there and just run? I mean, it's just good to get out there and play a game again. Um, I think the preseason is really valuable. Um, obviously, missed that last year. Uh, you know, get into a rhythm with the guys, and um, like you said, solid start. Are you a guy, even at this point in your career, who you know can can get something out confidence wise out of a night like this? Uh, I mean, yeah. It, I mean, everything's kick by kick. Um, everything's moving on to the next kick, whether it's a make or a miss. So, um, I mean, it was definitely good to get some live game reps and um, get it with some fans in the stadium again. And do it, do it in the link. Jake, the process of Aaron being your new holder and, and the kicks and everything like that. How has that gone just throughout camp? Obviously, it seems to work on one game, but how, would you say it's a smooth process so far? Yeah, I mean, and, and it's just not camp. It's um, you know, back in. April when we started getting together, you know, we, we've gotten a lot of reps in, so um, really comfortable with him. Obviously, really comfortable with Rick. We've been together for a while now, so um, everything's really smooth tonight, and um, they did, they did a great job. In what ways did it feel different when Nick out there as the head coach? Oh, I don't know. For me, not much different at all. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of kind of off on my own, in my nut, kind of getting ready and doing doing the same thing I've always done. Jake, did you not, did you miss the, the preseason last year? Did you feel like you maybe weren't? Um, I, I mean, I think getting some game reps in before you start is really valuable. Um, I mean, regardless if you go out and have team reps in practice, doing it in a game where you're trotting out there with fans in the stands in a stadium against another team. I mean, yeah, it's it's valuable. Uh, the more reps you can get, it's always it's always valuable. You talked to us last year. Ken pointed out that you were perfect in the forties, and and that kind of the classification. Oh no, I, I don't think so. I think every kick I kind of approach the same way. Um, just so happens that I don't know. I was dialed in on those numbers, and we got a couple of those tonight, obviously, and it, it, they felt good. Jake, uh, for, uh, first time we got a chance to really see Aaron so this pick. Um, was he pretty pumped for this game? Like, wow, make a good first impression. Oh yeah, I mean he was. <laughs> He was definitely excited to get the ball rolling. It's obviously been a long time since he's played in a game. Um, you know, like we've been talking about, no preseason last year. That was that was his first year in the NFL, so he, he really hasn't gotten a chance to do it. So uh, he was definitely excited to get out there, and, and I think he showed really well, obviously. Jake, you mentioned not much changes for you with Nick versus Doug. How about Michael versus Um, I mean, honestly, on, on game days, it's just not a whole lot different. I'm kind of off on my own, re regardless of who the coach is. Um, so not, not tremendously different. Um, no. What was Nick's message to you guys after the game? Uh, I mean, a lot of, lot of good stuff, um, you know, especially in that first half. But uh, obviously, there's a lot of, lot of good teach tape. So go back tomorrow, review it, and um, learn from it. Yeah, I mean, it depends on the guys, obviously. Um, with with Aaron, he's he's come in and he already kind of did everything that I liked personally. Um, just the way I can see the ball and everything, and how smooth he is with his hands. So uh, it, it was a pretty seamless transition. And, and like I said, I mean, we've gotten a million reps in over this offseason. Check for that play. Did you think I had a chance to work right away? Yeah, as soon as he started, as soon as he checked it, we seen a knuckle getting ready to blitz, and uh, I kind of just started smiling a little bit. Did you think about throwing up a full side this time? No, nah, because I ain't trying to get that fine. Uh -uh, I don't want that. You heard Jalen just say you're not a secret anymore. What's your reaction to that? Uh, I guess, you know, the cast out of the bag, I guess, you know, stay, you know, stuck in my days. How much last week, last week, last week, with um, Darius Slay? It means a lot, man. You know, Slay's in what year eight, year nine. You know, he's a big time vet, big time corner, and uh, one of the best in the league. And just getting that from him, you know, it, it kind of boosts my confidence. How pleased are you with your progress? Outside, but for you to make this progress, 
Uh, this whole off season, I just made everything personal. Everything that people said I couldn't do, and you know, I was just, I was, you know, I was only fast. I, you know, I just made everything personal and put the work in. How well is uh, Jalen Jamel's chemistry between you all and all of these? How well does that translate into those those seven those plays that he's on the field today? Just with him being uh, the guy he is, the leader he is, and always trying to be a perfectionist. It kind of just build our relationship, build everybody's relationship, and just keep us moving forward. Did you just do that nine, what would have been a 98 yarder if you guys connected? It was a conversation like between you and, and Jalen after that. So. Uh, with him, you know, we would like to always miss, you know, long instead of short. And um, with it, I feel like I, I could have been a little faster, you know. But, um, you know, I just got a little late tug and it kind of threw off the timing a little bit. So, what do you expect your Uh, just give my give a give this team, you know, the best opportunity to win games and just contribute and do my job. You see yourself as a starter for this team. Uh, I'm just here to do my job, you know, play, play ball. With the wide receiver screens to you and another one to Jalen. They're gonna be. It seems like they're gonna be a big part of this offense this year. Um, you know, they just try to get the ball in our hands. You know, be playmakers. What do you like about this? Line? Um, honestly, that's, that was really probably my first one um, from the slot. And it's kind of – it's quicker, but at the same time, you know, um, I can just get up and down and make plays. You said you wanted to kind of prove that you weren't just a speed guy. Having speed isn't, like, a bad thing. I mean, no, it's not. What, uh, <laughs> what did you want to prove aside from that? Just being more physical, being, you know, a route runner, and um, just attacking the football, being aggressive, being a playmaker, a better playmaker. You mentioned – Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, I've just been working on just transition of you know full speed and make everything look full speed. Hey, Quas, in the moment in that screen, I think it was Richard Rogers who came out and got the good kick block and kind of chose that field block. Do you, do you feel that on the field, or was it where you just see open space? Um, I took a I took a like one second pause so they could get the blocks and once they got the blocks it just it opened clean up so everything everything really was done I just used my speed they did the hard work you talked to us Nick Sirianni mentioned you developing in the intermediate passing game what steps do you need to take there um, just being you know with a short route just still being able to use my speed still able to you know thread, uh, thread the defender and make everything look like you know it's a deep deep ball but did you notice any change in the um, honestly, I just, I, I, I just seen, you know, there wasn't blessing as much. Take a few more for Quaz. Quaz, it's a, it's a young skill group, particularly that wide receiver. People don't really know what to expect. Mm -hmm. What do you expect? I expect for us to come out each and every day, each and every Sunday, and compete. You know, yeah, we're young, but we're dogs. We don't compete every, every game, every day. What's your level of comfort as a kickoff returner? You know, that was my first one uh, this season. And, you know, as I get back there more and more, it's going gonna, it's gonna to boost up. You seem to be pretty efficient, and the, uh, everybody kind of seems to be in the right place. Yeah, coming into the game, um, <clears throat> JG let us know that um, he was going to keep our calls simple. Some stuff that we've been going over since day one. And once we knew what, what calls were coming in, everybody knew their job and knew exactly what uh, to expect when we lined up. So. The communication was uh, really easy tonight. Was he pretty pleased with that? To, and were you surprised that it went as well as it did? Um, I think yeah. No, nah, I wasn't surprised because, like I said, we've been working on we've been working on those calls since day one. So I think he was pretty pleased. But you got to look at the film and see how we can get better. So this was your first game as a professional. I know it was a preseason game, but anything eye-opening for you out there? Uh, anything that kind of caught you off guard or surprised you? Um. Nah, not really. I know uh, this morning when I woke up, I was kind of nervous just finally getting that, that moment uh, playing in the first NFL game. But uh, once I played the first snap, I kind of got settled in a little bit, got a little bit more comfortable, and then tried to tried to do what I know. I've been playing football my whole life, so a uh, dream come true tonight. Looks like you were in on that uh, T.Y. McGill sack. Can you walk us through that play? What happened? What, what worked for 
Uh, man, I was working the tackle. He was kind of setting me a little light. So uh, I was working the bull rush on him, and I felt that he was leaning out. So I just snatched him real quick, and I was going to get him. But uh, the guard came and came and got me, and it freed up T.Y. So I'm happy for him. Celebrate with him afterwards. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable playing both. Uh, they trust me to be able to, to to know both spots, and I'm doing doing my best to uh, to get as much confidence as I can and, and let them know that when whenever they need to move me around, we they can do that. Nah, I kind of expected it. You know, they kind of want to move me around, see where where I'm more productive at, and see what 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 uh, my skills are and what I'm best at. So. Uh, playing inside and outside, just keep going back and forth and keep getting better at both. No, not really. He just want me to be aggressive, assert myself in the game, use my speed, use my power, and just be physical. That's, that's his message always: be physical, strike, and the rest will handle itself. Uh. Now nah, they kind of different. I think playing inside is a little bit more, a little easier because it's not too much space. So it's like one, two, you got to have something ready. On the edge, it's a little bit more space. So you got to close the space and then work your move. But like I said, I've been playing, I've been playing defensive end for a long time. Uh, my last year in college, I actually, that's when I actually moved inside for the first time. So I played that whole year and I got confident with that. So I'm still kind of going off of that. Definitely. Uh, I still feel like I, I, I played okay. You know, it's not up to to, to how I want how I want to look uh, every down. But uh, <clears throat> like Coach Shirani say, just try to get one percent better every day. So we're gonna go watch the tape and see what I can do better next game. Oh man, I think we from practice. Practice we we practice really hard, so I think we were in pretty good shape. You know, some of those long those drives they get real long, but you gotta just stick in there and try to try to get that stop. So I think I think we were in pretty good shape, but the more practice we get, the more we're playing the game, the better shape we'll get in. Um I, uh it depends on what J G wanna do. You know, in the preseason, he probably don't want to show show everything that we've been working on for teams to watch on film. So he might keep it vanilla. He might not. That ain't that ain't my call. But we're gonna see. Uh, just technique things. Uh, keep my pad level down. Keep my eyes clean. Make sure I'm looking at the right things. Playing my key. Playing my technique, and things like that. So. Like I said, we can always, you can watch film, you can always get better at, at those things. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, for everybody, I think it might have been different. Um, but nonetheless, I think, you know, it was great. Our one series, you know, they didn't score any points. So that was great. Yeah, I think it's, um, you know, the calls that we ran, it was, it was um, some simple calls. And I think it's, it's great for us to be able to go out there and execute those at a really high level and, um, you know, play really fast and be able to execute um, from the ones, twos, threes, whoever's out there, they should be able to um, play fast. Um, trust that you know what you're doing um, because they do. You know, we've been training uh, really well, making sure we know our responsibilities and the techniques in, in which we play with and, and just play with that high energy, that high intensity and hustle to the ball and get to the ball. And I think they did a great job. First time seeing uh, Nick Sirianni in a game setting, what were your uh, impressions? 
Um, you know, I think he, I think he's a great coach. I think his um, his personality of who he is is great, and you know, he's he leads the right way, and uh, I appreciate the energy he brings each and every day. What's his personality like? You know, it's not. He's very um, straightforward. He lets us know exactly what we need to do. Um, in a manner, he's not like a super rah rah guy, but he does have that juice and that energy, uh, which I appreciate. The the balance, right? You have to be uh, even keel. You can't, um, you know, be too like high on it, and you know. So you have to be able for us to understand what he's saying, and able to make corrections. And I think that's uh, where he does a really good job. Yeah, yeah, I think Milk can be a, a really great player. I remember today specifically, I seen him where he got off the ball, he punched the lineman right in the backfield, and he made some havoc back there. And I think um, with him doing that consistently, I think he will be great. How was your impression of uh, Alex Singleton getting out there and playing as much as he did? Just having count that Alex Singleton. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think he, I think he did great. He was flying around to the ball, uh, making a lot of plays. Um, and I thought that was great. You know, he plays with a lot of energy and he, he flies around and, and I appreciate that because, um, you know, I love to do the same. How comfortable are you in giving feedback to, to younger players on the sideline while a game's going on, just kind of going through plays maybe what you see on, on your pads or, or printouts? Yeah, I think it's, it's great to be, uh, you know, kind of coach them up. Um, if I see something out there on the field, um, that they're doing, you know, I even did that today. I let them know, like, hey, I think um, you would benefit from maybe doing this or, or maybe honing in on the technique, you know, if you're out there for, you know, a couple of series back to back, some guys may get tired. But even though you may be a little bit tired, you can't let your technique, um, you know, fault because you're a little bit tired. Your technique should remain, you know, immaculate and, and excellent um, and always with that hustle. So um, I definitely gave them um, some pointers.